Today I have the pleasure of speaking with Christopher Ecclestone. He's our European editor and analyst, and of course you're the founder of Hell Garden Company. How are you today? Good, thank you. Uh, Christopher, would you mind starting with just kind of a, an analysis of where we are in the gold market presently? Uh, gold market is waiting for interest rate signals and generally thinks that the interest rate is going up, so they're not like the gold market. Okay, so now we have a lot of people uh, anticipating a gold rush or a gold bull market this fall. What are your thoughts on this? Uh, I suspect they're mistaken. Um, uh, I don't really expect gold to plunge, um, but I don't really expect it to be rushed either. Um, it's probably just going to doodle around between 1150 and 1250 for the rest of the year. So, Christopher, you recently put out a research report, Halgar and Company, with a buy recommendation on Sage Gold. Can you tell us why this one may move a lot more aggressively than, say, the overall gold market? Uh, it's the three P's, production, production, production. I mean, as the gold price sags or goes mushy, um, it's just reinforced to investors that the ones to go with are the ones who are going to be in production or, or who are in production. And Sage Gold's going to be one of those. Um, and anybody who thinks it's okay to just drill, drill, drill um, uh, is mistaken. I mean, it's all about production and Sage are dedicated to that. And of course, one metal that you are hot for right now is vanadium. Can you talk to us a little bit about vanadium and what we should be looking at as investors? I think investors are starting to realize that vanadium is the new lithium. Um, last year, uh, lithium had its run, pulled back. It will come back again, but uh, it's not necessarily a tide that will lift all the boats in the lithium space again. Uh, the people will be much more selective. So now they're now looking at the issue of mass storage devices. Where can you store the um, energy, the green energy that you're taking out of solar panels and out of wind turbines when uh, the sun is not out or the wind's not blowing? And the place it is in mass storage devices like Canadian redox batteries. And lithium does nothing for that type of mass storage. You really only have, um, at the moment, the vanadium alternative, and that's turning people's focus back onto. Uh, a metal that really is not being looked at very much in the last five or six years. Uh, it's been sort of ignored and uh, now it's getting its run again. So what about cobalt or manganese, for instance, with regards to the batteries? Well, cobalt is a must-have for lithium-ion batteries at the moment and it doesn't look like it's going anywhere. It's going to be still required there. It's not going to be superseded. For that type of battery, it's a must-have. Uh, manganese is an alternative um, to uh, some other metals in the battery space. Well, car manufacturers are not going to retool now for different battery types of lithium ion. Uh, they're going to run with that as long as they don't have problems with supply. Um, so far, there's not a crunch in supply. If there is one, they might rethink. But um, for the moment, most of them are tooling up for lithium ion type batteries. So for all of you Investor Intel members that are out there, we'd love to know what you think about gold, vanadium, cobalt, and of course manganese. And Christopher, next week, we want to know more about zinc and what's happening there. Thank you. Thanks.